Lie down on the floor with your arms next to your body and your palms open towards the sky. Start by taking a nice deep breath and relax as much as you can. Allow your eyes to close down. Release all the tension and become aware of the breathing. Inhale spontaneously and without any effort, just by allowing the air to fill up your body. And exhale slowly and long, allowing yourself to fall in a deeper state of relaxation. Bring the attention in the center of the head. Stay relaxed and start projecting the events of the day on your mental screen. The wide black space behind your eyes is your mental screen. Starting from the present moment, go back in time till the moment you woke up today. In your mind, go through the events of the day, becoming aware of your thoughts, emotions and impulses that have marked your day. Do not hold on to anything, just observe completely detached without any judgments. Now bring your attention in the middle of the chest and become aware of the frequencies of the heart. Move these frequencies from your heart to the center of your head. From this point, with a directed attention, start consciously relaxing your body with the mental command I breathe out, I relax. Start with your left ankle and left foot. Breathe out and relax. Right ankle and right foot. Breathe out and relax. Left knee, left shin. Breathe out and relax. Right knee, right shin. Breathe out and relax. Left hip, left thigh, the entire left leg. Breathe out and relax. Right hip, right thigh, the entire right leg. Breathe out and relax. Both legs, breathe out and relax. Move your attention upwards to the sacrum and the pelvis area. Breathe out and relax. Relax also the internal organs in this area, the bladder, the ovaries, the testicles, the prostate. Breathe out and relax. Take a deep breath and relax the sexual organs and the entire region of the pelvis. With the attention further upwards to the lower back, breathe out and relax the muscles of the lower back area. Internal organs, left kidney, right kidney, breathe out and relax. The spleen of the left side, the liver on the right side, breathe out and relax. In the central area, the stomach, the pancreas, breathe out and relax. With the next breath, breathe out and relax the intestines and the whole stomach area. With the attention on the upper back, breathe out and relax all the upper back muscles. In the chest area, the lungs, first left lung, upper zone, lower zone, breathe out and relax, right lung, upper zone, lower zone, breathe out and relax, with the attention in the middle of the chest, breathe out and relax the thymus and the heart muscle, from here bring the attention to the arms, left palm and all the fingers separately the small finger, the ring finger, the middle finger, the index and the thumb. Breathe out and relax. Right palm, the small finger, the right finger, 
the middle finger, the index and the thumb. Breathe out and relax. Left elbow, left forearm. Breathe out and relax. Right elbow, right forearm. Breathe out and relax. Left shoulder, left arm. Breathe out and relax. Right shoulder, right arm. Breathe out and relax. Both arms together. Breathe out and relax. Move your attention to the neck area. Neck muscles. Breathe out and relax. The throat and the vocal cords. Breathe out and relax. Thyroid and parathyroid gland. Breathe out and relax. Now take a nice and deep breath. And with your exhalation, release all the body, starting from your feet until your neck. Bring your attention now to your head. Lower lip, upper lip. Breathe out, relax. Inside the mouth, upper palate, lower palate. Breathe out and relax. The whole mouth cave with the tongue. Breathe out and relax. Left cheek and left side of the face. Breathe out and relax. Right cheek and right side of the face. Breathe out and relax. Left eye, right eye and the eye muscles. Breathe out and relax. Move your attention in the center of the head to the pineal gland. Breathe out and relax. Frontal part of the brain, left part, right part. Breathe out and relax. Left hemisphere of the brain, breathe out and relax. Right hemisphere of the brain, breathe out and relax. The back part of the head, breathe out and relax. Stay a couple of breaths in this beautiful state of relaxation. Now bring your attention to your ears and become aware of this sense organ. Pay attention to all the loud sounds and all the still sounds who are reaching your ears. Contemplate the way these sounds are becoming information. Now concentrate on your sense of touch. Become aware of your clothes touching your body. Observe the sensation of your upper body, the torso and the arms. Then observe the sensation from the hips and the legs. Become aware of the body areas which are pressing against the floor. The head, the shoulders, the arms, the hips, the legs and the feet. Feel the weight of your body. Feel the gravity and the way it pulls you down. Become one with the gravity. Take a few breaths in this marvelous state of relaxation. In this deep state of relaxation, you can undress your subconscious mind using an affirmative sentence or Sankalpa. I love myself and I completely accept myself the way that I am. Repeat this sentence a couple of times. Now, become aware of your body. Accelerate slightly the breathing, contracting the stomach muscles and come out of the state of relaxation by stretching your body like after deep sleep. Sit on the floor with the palms of the hands placed on the floor just behind the buttocks. The back, the neck and the head 
are in a straight vertical line position. The legs are outstretched. The elbows are straight. Lean back slightly using the support of the arms. Start with the toes of the both feet. Move them backwards and forwards. Inhale as you move the toes backwards. Exhale as you move the toes forward. Continue moving your both feet backwards and forward. Inhale as you move them backwards. Exhale as you move them forward. Rotate both feet together around the ankles in the same direction. First in one direction and then in the opposite direction. Now bend the left knee and place your foot on the right thigh. Holding the foot with your right hand, rotate the foot a couple of times. First in one direction and then in the opposite direction. Change the foot. Now bring your right foot over the left thigh and rotate a couple of times, first in one direction and then in the opposite direction. Clasp the hand under the left knee and straighten the left leg, pulling up the kneecap. Do not allow the heel to touch the floor. Bend the left leg at the knee bringing it towards the chest and the heel towards the buttocks. Inhale by straightening the leg, exhale by bending the leg backwards towards your chest. Repeat three times. Do the same with your right leg. Repeat three times. With the hands clasped under your left knee, rotate the left shin three circles, first in one direction, then in the opposite. Repeat the same with your right leg. The next exercises should not be performed by people who suffer from back conditions such as sciatica and slip disc, heart conditions, high blood pressure and people with recent abdominal surgery. Please consult a doctor before practicing the following four exercises. Lie down flat on your back with the legs stretched out and together. The arms are on the side with the palms down on the floor. Raise your left leg and rotate five times in each direction. Raise your right leg and rotate five times in each direction. Raise your both legs together and rotate three times in each direction.
bend the left leg at your knee and start rotating around your left hip five times in each direction. Bend your right knee and rotate around your right hip five times in each direction. Stretch your arms above your head with the fingers interlocked. Exhale and bend forward, bringing your left knee to your forehead. Inhale, lie down on the floor with your arms above your head. Exhale, bend forward and bring your right knee towards your forehead. This is one round. Do two more rounds. After the last round, as you are bending forward, bring both of your knees to your forehead. Repeat this three times. Inhaling, raise your legs arms, shoulder, head and trunk off the ground around 15 cm off the floor. Balance the body on the buttocks and keep the spine straight. Retain the breath for some time and then exhale and lie down on the floor relaxing your body. Repeat three times. This is the Nauka Asana or the boat pose. Now bend your legs at the knees with your arm beside your body with the hands against the floor. Twist your knees on the left side and simultaneously the head in the right direction and exhale. Inhale, bring your legs and head in the start position, exhale and twist in the opposite direction. Continue in a sitting position. Bend the left leg and place the heel at the perineum, touching the inside of your right thigh with the left sole. Stretch your left hip by pressing your left knee with your left arm towards the floor. Do not press too hard, but only as much as you can and as you feel comfortable. Now grab your right foot with your both hands and bend forward as much as you can. Don't hurt yourself. Take a three breaths in this position and with each exhalation try to bend further and relax. Now change the legs. Outstretch the left leg and bend the right leg. Press your right knee towards the floor and then grab the left foot with both hands bending forward as much as you can. Stay three breaths in this position and with each exhalation Try to bend even further down. Now take your left leg in your both arms and move it left and right like rocking a baby. Before you put your leg down, bring your foot as close to your chest as it gets. 
take a few relaxing breaths in this position and by exhalation bring your leg down, placing the left foot as far up on the right thigh as possible. Press the knee down, stretching the hip joint. Change the legs and do the same. This time take the right leg with your arms, move it left and right like rocking a baby, stretch your hip by bringing your right foot as closer to your chest as possible, and then bring your leg down by placing your right foot as far up on the left thigh as possible. Bring the left foot over your right thigh, rotate your knee in circle by using your left arm and try to make the circular movement as large as possible. Rotate your knee in both directions. Straighten your left leg and do the same with your right leg. Continue with the butterfly position. Bring your feet together and the heels as close as possible to your body. Bend down, pressing your legs down with your elbows. Try to touch the floor with your knees, but do not strain yourself. In the next phase, with your arms, Push gently your knees towards the floor, allowing them to come up again. In the next phase, with your palms right behind your buttocks, lean down on your arms and move the knees towards the floor using the thigh muscles. Do not force yourself and breathe normally. Continue with Siddhasana. Bring your right heel to the perineum and the left foot between the right thigh and the right calf. Move the left heel as closer to the perineum as possible. Stay three breaths in this position and try to consciously relax any tension in your hip area. Use your left arm to press your left knee towards the floor. Do the same position changing the position of the legs. Start with your left foot and bring the left heel to the perineum. Place the right foot between the left thigh and the left calf. Relax with a few breaths and with the right arm press down your right knee. Now bring your right foot under your left thigh and place the left foot on your right thigh. Press down your left knee a couple of times. Do not strain yourself. If your hip joints are stiff, they will loosen up very quickly with regular practice. Lift your left leg and place it behind the left buttocks, stretching your left hip joint. Do the same position, this time with your left foot under your right thigh. Place the right foot on the left thigh and press down your right knee. Relax from this position by stretching your leg behind. Now you are ready to sit in the lotus pose. Start with the leg which is more flexible and place the foot on the opposite thigh. Then bend the other leg and place the foot on the opposite thigh. Sit in this position for five breaths and try to relax all the tension in your body. Do not strain yourself to do this. If your hip joints are not open enough or if you have too much pain in your knees, this will come in time. If you suffer from sciatica, sacral infections or weak injured knees, do not perform this asana.
Release the lotus pose gently. Outstretch your legs and separate them apart. Stretch your arms at the shoulder level, keeping the arms in a straight line. Exhale and twist to the left, bringing your right hand down to the left foot. Stretch the left arm behind your back, the arms should remain in a straight line. Turn your head also to the left and gaze at the left hand. Now twist in the opposite direction. Inhale and come to the center position and by exhaling twist to your right bringing your left hand down to the right foot. Turn your head right and gaze at your right hand. This is one round. Do this three rounds and when you are about to do the fourth round, instead of twisting, just bend forward with your body grabbing your feet, right hand on the right foot and left hand on the left foot. In this position, holding your feet as you breathe out, try to relax and bend further down using your arms. Do not strain yourself, you should feel the pressure at your lower back and the sacral joint. Relax your legs by shaking your calf muscles. Sit in a thunderbolt position or Vajrasana. With your knees on the floor, separate the heels and bring the big toes together and with your buttocks sit on your feet. If you feel pressure or pain in the knees or any kind of discomfort, use a pillow. You can place your pillow under your knees, under your feet ankles or you can place it on the calf muscles before you sit on the feet. Try to find how to make this position as much comfortable as you can because from this position we are going to exercises for hand joints, shoulders and neck and eye exercises. Anyway, if this is too hard for you to sit in this position, then choose another sitting position which will be more comfortable for you. Important is that you have a straight back. Now, from Vajrasana position, outstretch your arms in front of your body at the shoulder level, breathe in and open your palms, stretching your fingers as wide as possible. Breathe out, close the hands into fists with the thumb inside the fist. Do this three times. With the next inhalation, bend the hands backwards from the wrists with the fingers towards the sky. Breathe out, bend the hands down with the fingers towards the ground. Do this for three rounds. Put your right arm behind your back and with your left arm outstretch it in front of you. Rotate your fist around the wrist. First in one direction and then in the opposite direction. Change your arms. Do the same with your right fist. Outstretch your board arms in front of you at the shoulder level. Open your hands with the palms towards the sky. Breathe out. Bend the arms at the elbows and touch your shoulders. Breathe in and straighten the arms in front of you. Do this three times. When you inhale for the fourth time, straighten your arms on the side at the shoulder level. Breathe in, bend the arms and touch the shoulders. Do this for three times. Mm -hmm. 
On the fourth round, with your both hands on the shoulders, start rotating them with the elbows. Breathe in as you move your elbows upward. Breathe out as you go down with your elbows. Do this in both directions. Put your hands down on your thighs. The following exercises release tension and stiffness in the neck. Breathe out and bring your chin towards the chest and fix your eyes on the top of the nose. Breathe in and move the head backwards, fixing your eyes in the point between the eyebrows. Do not use too much force. Do all the exercises gently and slowly with minimum pain. Do this for three times. On the fourth time, breathe out and move the head on the left side. Breathe in and bring the head and the neck in the straight position. Breathe out and move the head on the right side. Breathe in, bring the head in a straight position. This is one round. Do one more round. After the last round, breathe out and turn your head on the left like you are trying to see something on the left side. Move only the neck and the eyes. Breathe in and break the head in the straight position. Breathe out and turn now on the left side as much as you can, turning your eyes on the left as well. This is one round and after the second round, remain with your head and neck straightened in one line. From this position, start rotating your head with your neck gently and carefully. Do one or two circles carefully in both directions. Remain seated in Vajrasana position. The following exercises are for the eyes. Start rubbing your hands together until they become warm. Now close your eyes and place your palms over your eyes. Do not make any pressure over the eyes. Just stay calm and relax the eye muscles and feel the warmth of your palms going to your eyes. Now spread your arms Open on the side, on the shoulder level. Close your hands and fists with only the thumb finger stretched upwards. Breathe out. Fix your eyes at the top of the nose. Breathe in. Fix your eyes at the left thumb on the side. Move only your eyeballs and do not move your head or neck. Breathe out. Fix the eyes on the top of the nose. Breathe in and fix the eyes on the right thumb. This is one round. If your thumbs are out of the sight, bring them a little bit forward until they become visible. Do a second round. On the third round, bring your right fist down and place it on your knee. Breathe out, look down on your thumb. Breathe in, look your left thumb on the left side. Now change the hands, put your left fist down and straighten the right arm on the side on a shoulder level. Breathe out, look down at your left thumb, breathe in, look right at your thumb. Now place your two fists down on your thighs, fix with your eyes the nail of the left thumb. Breathe in, raise the arm upwards and follow the left thumbnail only with your eyes. Breathe out, return the fist in the starting position. Now do the same with the right fist. Breathe in and lift the fist slowly upwards and follow the thumbnail with your eyes. Exhale and bring it down. This is one round.
Now both fists are on your thighs with the thumbs stretched upwards. With the left thumb do a circular movement following the thumb only with your eyeballs. Breathe in as you move upwards, breathe out as you move downwards, placing the fist on the starting position. Do the same with your right arm. Close your eyes and relax them. Now open your eyes and find a point in the opposing wall approximately at your eye level. Breathe out, fix the point of the nose. Breathe in, fix the point on the wall. Now change the focus. Breathe in, look at the point between the eyebrows. Breathe out on the top of the nose. Rub the hands again until they warm up and then place them over your eyes in order to relax them. After the eye exercises, slowly step out of the Vajrasana position. In a kneel position, move your left leg forward and press with your weight on your left foot. Change the legs and now press with your weight on your right foot. Bring your leg back in a starting position. From this position, put your hands on your buttocks, breathe in and bend backwards as much as you feel comfortable. Breathe out and come in the starting position. Now stand up in an erect position. Your arms are behind your back with interlocked fingers. Breathe in, lift yourself on your toes, raising the arms behind your back as much as possible and bending your head backwards. Breathe out and come in the starting position. Do this three times. Now raise your hand above your head, interlock the fingers with the palms upwards. Breathe in, lift yourself on the toes and stretch the arms upwards as much as possible. Breathe out and come into the starting position. Do this three times. Remain in the same position. Breathe out and bend to the left side from the waist, breathe in and return to the starting position. Breathe out and bend now on the right side from the waist, breathe in and return to the starting position. In the same position, staying on your feet, take the left leg and place the left foot as closer to your thigh as possible. First, rest your arm on your hips, then lift your palms joined together in a brain position in front of your chest. From this position, bring your arms above your head with the palms joined together. Do the same staying on your left leg, bending the right one. These are balance poses. In order to remain still in these positions, fix one point on the floor or on the wall with your eyes. The next section is a series of five dynamical exercises called the five Tibetan rites. They represent a complete system and they can be practiced aside, separately from this program. 
For the first ride, stand in a erect position with your arms stretched on the side at the shoulder level. From this position, spin around for 7 spins. Spin from your left to right. After the 7th spin, you may feel dizziness in order to calm your mind, fix a point on the floor with your eyes. After that, lie down on the floor. Put your arms on the side along the body with the palms against the floor. Breathe in, lift the head off the floor, bringing your chin to the chest and simultaneously raise your both legs with the knees straight into a vertical position. Stay in this position for some seconds, retaining the breath, then breathe out and slowly return to the starting position. Repeat this seven times. In the third ride, kneel on your knees. Your feet should support your body with the toes who are flexed. Place your hands on the buttocks. Breathe out, bend your head forward, bringing your chin to the chest. Breathe in, move your head backwards as much as you can arching your spine and bringing the shoulder blades closer together. Breathe out, move your head forward, touching your chest with your chin. Do this seven times. Now sit on the floor, stretch out the legs and bring them apart at shoulder distance. The trunk of the body is erect. The hands are placed on the side next to the buttocks. Breathe out, touch the chest with your chin. Inhale, move your head backwards as much as you can. In the same time, raise your body so that the knees bend while the arms remain straight. Exhale, go to the starting position 
with the chin on your chest. Repeat this seven times. For the last ride, stand at the end of your yoga mat, move forward with your hands. Exhale and bring your waist down without touching the floor and stretch your head backwards. Your feet are flexed. Inhale, move the waist up, bending at the hips and bringing the chin to the chest. Press with your heels towards the floor. Exhale and go to the starting position. Repeat this seven times. When you are done with the last ride, remain with your knees on the floor and your arms perpendicular to the floor supporting your body with shoulder distance apart from each other. Unflex your feet. This is the cat pose. Breathe out, arch your spine upwards, stretching your shoulder muscles and spine. Move the head with the chin towards the chest. Breathe in, raise your head and arch your spine downwards. On the next inhalation, straighten your left arm forward and right leg backwards. Exhale, arch the spine backwards and press with the chin against the chest. Inhale and now the same with the changed position of the arms. Right arm forward, left leg backwards. This is one round. Do one more round. As you exhale in the last round, by arching your spine upwards and bending your head inside, bring your left knee to your forehead. Inhale, stretch the leg backwards as much as you can, bend at the knee. Do this three times, first with your left leg, and then three times with your right leg. Sit back on your feet in Vajrasana position with your arms on the side next to your body. Take a few deep breaths. 
and try to relax. By exhalation, bend your trunk forward until you touch the floor with your forehead and nose dip. Relax in this position by taking nice deep breaths. By exhalation, lift your upper body and step out of the position. This series of exercises is a complete system and can also be done separately on its own. It is called Surya Namaskar or the Sun Salutation. Standing on your feet, bring your palms together to the center of your chest where the heart chakra is. Exhale in this position and by inhaling stretch your arm upwards and bend your spine backwards. Exhale, bend forward until you touch the floor or the feet. Do not worry if you cannot bend that much. Do not strain yourself and perform each position as much as it feels nice and comfortable. Inhaling, place the hands on the floor on the side of your feet. Move your right leg backwards and bend the left leg at the knee, keeping it in the same position. Arch your spine backwards, opening your chest and arms. Put your hands on the floor, exhale and move your left foot back, close to the right foot. Press with the heels on the floor and with the chin, press the chest. Holding the breath, lower your knees, chest and chin in one line on the floor, with your hands next to your shoulders. Inhale and lift your upper body, bending it backwards pushing with the chest forward. Exhale, raise the buttocks in a mountain pose, pressing with the heels against the floor. Inhale, place your left foot between your hands, the left leg is bent at the knee. Open your chest and arms. Exhale, bring your right foot next to the left foot. Straighten both knees. If you cannot, then as much as you can. Inhale, raising your upper body and arms upwards, bending behind. Exhale and place the hands together on your chest. Continue. Inhale and stretch your arms upwards and bend your spine backwards. Exhale, bend forward to the floor. Inhaling, place the hands on the floor on the side of your feet. Move this time your left leg backwards and bend the right leg at the knee, keeping it in the same position. In the same time, arch your spine backwards, opening your chest and arms. Put your hand on the floor, exhale and move your left foot back, close to the right foot. Press with the heels on the floor and with the chin, press on the chest. Holding the breath, lower your knees, chest and chin in one line on the floor with your hands next to your shoulders. Inhale and lift your upper body, bending it backwards, pushing with the chest forward. Exhale, raise the buttocks in a mountain pose, pressing with the heels against the floor. Inhale, place your right foot between your hands with the knee bent. Open your chest and arms. Exhale, bring your left foot next to the right foot, straighten both knees, if you cannot, only as much as you can. Inhale, raising your upper body and arms upwards, bending behind. Exhale and place the hands together on your chest. This is one round of sun salutation. Do one more. After some time regular practice, increase the round in four rounds in total.
Lie down on the floor, relax your body and calm your breathing. Think of the asana poses. Every asana pose is related with a specific chakra or energy point. In this pose, we stay eight complete breaths. The inhalation is spontaneous, the exhalation is controlled and prolonged. The first post is Sarvangasana or the shoulder stand. Lying on your back with your hands placed beside your body, relax and picture the asana first in your head. As you inhale, first raise your legs, bend at the knees, bringing them to your forehead. Lift the trunk in a vertical position and then straighten the legs. Bend your hands at the elbows and place your hands behind the ribcage to support your upper body. Push the chest forward until it presses against the chin. In the final position, the upper body and the legs are aligned in a straight vertical line. Try to adjust yourself and to find the most comfortable position. The weight should be distributed between the shoulders and the lower part of the neck, pressing on the spot which connects the body to the neck. This is where the Vishuddhi Chakra is. Imagine on this spot a blue ball. Make eight deep, complete breaths, breathing through this ball. Do not overburden your neck with too much pressure. Control the pressure with your elbows and shoulders. After eight breaths, step out of this position, slowly and gently, with controlled movement. Rest a few breaths in Shavasana, the corpse pose. The next pose is the plow. Picture the asana first in your mind. By inhalation, slowly, raise your legs using your hands as a support. Bring your feet above your head and place them on the floor behind your head. Straighten your knees, but do this slowly without any discomfort. Do not go beyond your limits. You can stay in this position, but you can also try to outstretch your arms behind your head and with your fingers to touch your toes. Stay in this position for eight deep and conscious breaths, breathing through the Manipura, the chakra on the spine behind the navel area. On this spot, imagine a yellow ball. The first four breaths we do in this position and the next four in mudra position. After the fourth breath, bring your knees beside your ears and embrace your thighs above your head. Try to make yourself as much comfortable as it gets and make four deep conscious breaths from this position. After the 8th breath, we step slowly out of this position by raising the legs and bringing them back in the start position. Relax in the corpse pose, few breaths thinking about the Manipura Chakra. The next asana is called bridge. Picture the asana first in your mind. Then bend your legs at the knees, putting the feet on the floor in a shoulder distance. Raise your arms and bend them at the elbows, placing your hands next to your ears with the fingers facing down towards your feet. From this position, raise your waist using your feet and hands as a support. Do this very slowly. Arch the spine and move the head towards the back as much as possible. With this asana, the whole spine is stretched, including the hips and the shoulder joints. Think again of the Manipura Chakra. 
On the spine, behind the navel, where the vertebras are most tightened during this pose. Imagine a yellow bow on this place and breathe through it deep conscious breaths. After the eighth breath, lower your waist to the floor, slowly and gently. Straighten your legs and bring your arms next to your body. Relax in Shavasana for a couple of breaths, thinking of Manipura Chakra. Continue with the fish pose. See the pose first mentally in your mind. Sit in Vajrasana pose and from this pose lean your trunk behind slowly, arching your spine, using your elbows as a support until you reach the floor with the top of your head. In the beginning use the elbows as a support for this position, placing your hands on the side of the lower back. Try to relax your legs and thighs. If you feel confident enough, Bring your palms together and place them in the middle of the chest. If this position is too difficult for you in the beginning, here is another variation of this pose. In this variation, we start directly from the corpse pose without going in the Vajrasana pose like we did in the previous variation. From this position, just arch the spine from the waist up to the neck. Move your head backwards till you can and find spot for support on the top of your head. Use your arms, bent at the elbows, supporting your lower back with your hands placed on the lower back above your hips. The breathing in this position is clavicular, using the upper portion of the lungs and the base of the neck. Stay in this position for 8 breaths. Breathe through the Anahata Chakra or the Heart Chakra. Imagine a green ball on the spine behind the middle of the chest bone. Step slowly out of this position and lie on the floor in Shavasana position. Relax completely and think of the Anahata Chakra. The next two asanas are activating the second chakra or Svadhisthana. It is placed on the sacral joint. Picture the asana first in your mind and then go into the pose. Stretch your arms above your head. Inhale, lift your upper body along with the arms until you come in a vertical position with your arms and trunk in the same line. Now bend forward with your trunk lowering the arms and place your hands on the legs below or above the knees depending on where your limits are. With your trunk Bend further down with your hands sliding along the legs. In the final position you should touch your feet and your trunk should be completely bent at the waist lying flat over your legs. The knees should be straightened. This pose requires a great flexibility of your spine. Do not go over your limits. With the time the back will become more and more flexible. Bend down until you feel a nice stretch and pressure in the sacral joint. Stay in this position 8 breaths. In the sacral joint, imagine an orange ball and breathe through it. With each exhalation, try to relax more your sacral joint and to bend even further down. After the 8th breath, lift your body slowly and lie back down in the start position. Relax with a few breaths.
Now stretch one arm above your head, it can be the left arm or the right arm, and roll over that side. Lie on your stomach and relax in the new position. Breathe deeply and relax the stomach and the back muscle. This pose is also for the second chakra, the sacral chakra. Put your head on the forehead. Straighten your arms behind your back and interlock your fingers. By inhalation, raise your upper body arching your spine backwards. Use the back muscles and feel the pressure in the navel area. Move your head backwards and squeeze the shoulder blades together. With exhalation, slowly return to the starting position. Do this two more times before you go into cobra position. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and then exhale. After the third time, place your hands under your shoulders, inhale and lift your body. Stay in this position for 8 deep breaths, breathing through the orange ball at the sacral area. After the 8th breath, slowly return to the beginning position. Relax in Shavasana for a couple of breaths. The next pose is the Locust or the Shalabhasana. Imagine this pose first in your mind and then go into the pose. Position your head with the chin on the floor. Place your hands next to your hips. Warm up the body before you go into a locust pose. Breathe in, raise your left leg up, breathe out, put your leg back in the start position. Breathe in, lift your right leg, breathe out, bring your leg on the floor again. This is one round. Do one more. With the next inhalation, lift both legs up and stay in this position. Use your chin and hands as a support. Breathe 8 breaths through the blue ball on the lower neck where the neck and the body are connected. After the 8th breath, slowly return to the start position. Relax with couple of deep breaths. Continue with the Nura Asana or the Bow Pose. Picture the Asana first in your mind. Then bend your legs at the knees and grasp your ankles with the hands and place your head with the forehead on the floor. With a few conscious breaths, relax in the new position. Inhale and arch your spine backwards using your arms and legs to assist the raising of your body. Exhale and lower the body, returning into the start position. Do this two more times as a preparation of the bow pose. Inhale Exhale. After the third breath, stay in this position for 8 breaths. 
thinking of the Vishuddhi Chakra, the blue ball in the lower part of your neck. After the 8th breath, release the pose slowly, return in the beginning position. Relax with a couple of deep breaths. For the next pose, sit on the floor with your legs in front of your body. This is the half spinal twist. Picture the asana first in your mind. Bend your left leg at the knee and place your left foot under your right buttocks. Place your right foot on the outside of the left thigh. Then twist your body and place your left shoulder against the right knee on the outside of your right leg. Then either you drag your left arm through the space under your right knee, or if that is too difficult, place your left hand on your right foot holding the ankle. Bring your right arm as far behind as possible. Place it either on the floor or grab your left hand if you manage to drag it through. Use the left arm as a lever against the right leg to twist the trunk and the neck as much as possible without the use of the back muscles. Make sure that your left armpit is above the right thigh, close to the right knee. It shouldn't be placed above the right shin. Keep your back as straight as possible. Stay in this position for 8 breaths. Breathe through the Ajna Chakra, the white ball in the center of the head. After the eighth breath, slowly release this position. Now we bend the right leg, we bring the left leg over the right leg and we twist to the right side. Stay in this position for eight breaths, breathing through Ajna, and then release the position. The last asana in our program is Sirshasana or the headstand. This is one of the most popular and beneficial asanas also referred as the king of all asana. Despite the fact that this asana can seem a little bit difficult to perform, it is a very easy asana. The main trick for this asana is to find the gravity center in your body and then use it in your advantage. Start in Vajrasana position. Bend forward in a rabbit pose. Make triangle by placing your hands in front of you. Interlock your fingers. Place your head on the floor on your forehead just where the hairline begins, slightly below your hands. Straighten your knees and your head will automatically roll until the top of the head is on the floor and the back of your head is supported from your clasped hands. The triangle formed from your forearms and the position of the head are very important because this is the base and the support for this asana. So pay attention to this part. When you have found stable position, with your feet on the floor, walk as much as you can towards your head. 
In this position, think of your head and try to find the center of the gravity in your body. The eyes should be open. Now slightly pull your hips and bring them in the same line like your neck and spine. In this phase, you also lift your feet from the floor, bend at the knees and close to your chest. And from this step on, you use only the triangle of your arms as a support for this position. Do not raise your legs immediately. Give yourself time to adjust to this new position. Then lift your both knees using your abdominal muscles and straighten your legs. Do not make too much pressure on the head. The weight should be mostly distributed between your forearms. To step out of this position, bend your legs at the knees and bring the knees to your chest. Do this slowly with controlled movement. Place your feet on the floor. As you reach the floor with your feet, go directly in rabbit pose and rest in this position for a couple of breaths. The ideal sitting pose for doing the pranayama exercises is Siddhasana. If you are not comfortable in this position, use pillows or folded blankets to make this position comfortable. If it is not possible for you to sit in this position, or if it is too painful, find a sitting position that will be comfortable for you. Your body weight should be equally distributed between your buttocks. It is important that your spine and neck are in a straight vertical line. The breathing exercises are more advanced practice of yoga. Do not neglect them, but also be very careful practicing pranayama, especially when the breath is retained. Do not neglect them, but also be very careful practicing pranayama, Especially when the breath is retained, do not push your limits because the lungs are a very sensitive organ. Do not do pranayama if you are influenced by some chemical substances, tranquilizers and similar drugs or other types of drugs and alcohol. Sit in your position with a straight spine. The first few exercises are warm-up for the pranayama exercises. Put your hands under your armpits, left hand under right armpit, right hand under left armpit. Make a full yogic inhalation using the diaphragm. First fill your stomach, then the thoriatic part, and then the upper part until the clavicle bones. Exhale gradually, short and loud, three times through your mouth. Take a full yogic breath through the nose, exhale with three prolonged breaths, making the sound You exhale from your clavicles down towards your stomach three times. Put your hands now on your knees. We breathe forcefully 
through both nostrils, pumping with the diaphragma muscle. This is the Bastriga Pranayama. In the next exercise, allow the breath to fill your body spontaneously without any force through the nostrils and then exhale forcefully. This is Kapalabhati Pranayama. In the next exhalation, the breath is slow and spontaneous and we bring the breathing in a normal state. Do not strain, just allow for the air to fill your lungs and body. Try to breathe as quietly as possible, almost without any sound. First let the air in, then let the air out slowly. We equalize the duration of the inhalation and the exhalation by counting. We inhale while counting to four. We exhale while counting to four. Position your left hand in a chin mudra. Form a circle with the index finger and the thumb. The other three fingers should be stretched outwards. Bring your right hand to your face, touching the point between your eyebrows with the index finger and the middle finger. Your thumb should be above your right nostril and your ring finger above your left nostril. Close your right nostril with the thumb. Breathe in, counting to four, through your left nostril. Breathe out, also through your left nostril, counting to four. Breathe in, four. Breathe out, four. And once again, breathe in, four. Breathe out, four. After the next inhalation of four, exhale counting to six. Inhale four, exhale six. And once more, inhale four, exhale six. Close your left nostril with your ring finger and open your right nostril. Inhale 4 through the right nostril, exhale 6, inhale 4, exhale 6, inhale 4, exhale 6. After the next inhalation of 4, we prolong it the exhalation through the right nostril and we count to eight. Inhale now four. Change the nostril by closing the right one with your thumb and opening the left one and exhale eight through your left nostril. Inhale four through your left nostril Change the nostrils and exhale through your right nostril. This is one round, do two more rounds. With the next inhalation, we also add retention of the breath by closing both nostrils. Breathe in four. Retain the breath counting to two. Change the nostril, exhale 8 through the other nostril. From this nostril now, inhale 4, retain the breath for 2, change the nostril and exhale 8. This is one round, do two more rounds. Now inhale 4, 
hold the breath, four, change the nostrils, exhale, eight, through the other nostril. Inhale from the same nostril, four, retain, four, change the nostril, and exhale, eight, through the other nostril. This is one round, do two more rounds. After the next exhalation, we add retention of the breath without air. Close both nostrils, count to two, open one nostril, inhale four, retain the breath for six, change the nostril, exhale eight, through the other nostril. Close the both nostril and count to two without air. Open the same nostril, inhale four. Retain six and change the nostril, exhale eight through the other nostril. Close the nostrils for two. This is one round and do three more rounds. When you are done with the last round of pranayama, remain in the sitting position and bring your hands down on your knees. We continue with bandhas or the energy locks. Inhale four, lower your neck until you touch the chest with your chin and retain the breath in this position, counting to eight. Release the lock, exhale, counting to eight. Lower your neck with your chin to the chest, stay without air, counting to four. Lift your head and inhale, counting to eight. This is one round of Jalandhara Bandha. Do one more. With the next inhalation of four, lower the neck with the chin to your chest and simultaneously contract the perineal muscle between the anus and the sexual organ. While contracting, the lowest part of the stomach will be pulled upwards. Remain in this position with the throat and perineum contracted, counting till eight. Then release the lock, exhale, eight and lock again without air counting till four inhale four lock hold for eight exhale eight and lock without air four This is one round of Mula Bandha. Do two more rounds.
With the next exhalation, push the stomach backwards towards the spine. Count till 4 without air. Release the stomach, inhaling, counting to 4. Do Mula Bandha, contracting the throat and the perineum, and remain locked in this position, counting till 8. Release the lock, exhale 8. Pull your stomach backwards and remain counting to 4. This is Udiyana Bandha. Do two more rounds. After the last round, we do Mahabandha or combination of all the three previous bandhas. Inhale four. Lock the energy with Mula Bandha. Exhale, counting to eight. Pull the stomach backwards and also contract the perineum. Stay locked without air, counting to 6, then release and inhale 8. This is one round of Mahabandha. Do two more rounds. When you are done with the last round of Mahabandha, stay relaxed in the same position and normalize the breathing. The meditation is the crown of the yoga session. We always end our yoga session with a meditation. The quality of your yoga practice will always be reflected in the meditation. Choose one of the sitting asanas which is most comfortable for you. Use pillow or folded blanket if you have pain sitting in the asana. Straighten your spine and neck. Your body weight should be equally distributed between your buttocks. Relax in this position. Think on the point where our body presses against the floor. Feel the gravity. Become aware of the breathing. Breathe smooth and calm. Try to detach yourself from all the sensation coming from outside. Detach yourself from all the thoughts until the mind becomes quiet. Don't try to conquer your mind. Just observe your thoughts and don't hold on to any of them. Move your attention in the center of your head. Imagine a small candle flame there. See this light with your internal eye and feel its warmth. Bring the light in the center of your chest. Breathe slowly and think of this little flame. Now increase the flame in the coordination with your breathing. Breathe in, spread the light in your whole body, from the center of your chest upwards to the top of the head and downwards to the tip of your toes. Exhale and relax all the body tensions. Breathe slowly and relax. With the next inhalation, spread the light further, exceeding your body and filling up the entire room. Exhale and relax. Inhale, see the light in the whole room. Exhale and relax. Inhale and spread the light further in the entire house or a building. Exhale and relax. Breathe a couple of relaxed breaths in this stage. Let go of all the tensions and negative thoughts. 
let them disappear in the light. Inhale, now spread the light in the whole city, reaching the heart of all the people living in it. Light the candles in their hearts and by exhaling, see all the problems and negativity melt away. Inhale and spread the light to the entire state. Light even more candles joining in your light. Exhale and lose all the fear, surrendering yourself completely to this light. Inhale and let the light spread over the entire earth. Light the candles of all people on earth. Exhale and see how all the negativity is transformed in love. Inhale and spread the light further on the entire planetary system with the planets. Exhale and see the love as a creator of all things. Inhale and spread the light in the entire universe reaching all the beings. Exhale and become aware of the endless light spreading everywhere. Lose yourself in this light and become one with it. Breathe in endless light. Breathe out endless light. Stay in this stage for a couple of breaths melting yourself away in the light. Feel the love and surrender to it completely. Inhale and become aware of your body. Take a conscious breath and as you inhale, suck all the light in the universe back into your body leaving everything purified behind. Exhale and become even more aware of your body, spine and heart. Inhale and absorb the light from the planetary system and exhale, see the flame in the center of your chest. Inhale and absorb the light from the planet, from your state, city and house, back into your body. Exhale, bring the flame in the center of the head. Inhale, think of the flame. Exhale, think of your body senses. Inhale, see the flame. Exhale, feel the clothes on your body. Inhale, see the flame. Exhale, become aware of your eyes. Inhale and open your eyes. Namaste.